Let's take a quick look back to last week. I was right. Ha. Wrong. I was wrong. What up, family? It's your boy Amaru, and I am back with episode eight of WandaVision. We only have one, maybe two, one episode left before this series is finished and we're moving on to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And might I say, we've had mind-blowing experiences. We've had me yelling. Yeah, I yelled in that episode. We've had a lot, but I don't think we've had an episode that has been as good or as emotional or just as, as this, this, this episode has been the best and my favorite of the series so far. It was absolutely amazing from jump. Everything that we have been fanboying about and geeking about, it is, it is coming to fruition. Starting us off with learning more about Agatha Harkness and where she comes from. Katherine Hahn is killing killing this role uh she has the humor she has the subtlety when she needs to get serious she's getting serious we got the full-blown outfit at the end she is murdering this and what i'm loving this episode to me is the epitome of what why this show has been so good because there are so many things that whether you knew before the season uh about the lore or you were like me and learned about these different characters uh hearing from other people with every passing episode we knew things were coming. We we knew Agatha was coming. We knew Scarlet Witch was coming, the actual words. But yet and still, there are still so many questions left to be answered. Um, I'm hearing people asking me, what are you predicting is going to happen in this final episode? Who's going where? And I'm telling you, if I threw out 10 different predictions, one of them would probably be right. Because I have enough information and I know enough about the MCU and, and what all this is to probably figure it out. But any of those 10 predictions could be correct and that is why this is so good because it is it is intertwining the, the lore of the MCU and the lore of the comics and following what we know from the comics while still making its own unique path and it makes perfect sense. But not only does it, does it work in the cinematic universe, but it also works because of technically and, and acting wise and everything. This might have been the most beautiful episode we have seen with all the different colors and, and just the different shots. Just take different shot pictures of, of different shots in this film. In this film, it's, it's, it's damn near, it is a film. It's a film in long form TV, uh, TV series form. It, that's what it looks like. Watching the opening scene, of how the witches were were like crumbling into 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 skeletons, and I was like, "This is a TV show. This they're doing this for a TV show." That and looking at at uh, the 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 yellow when when the Mind Stone came out, and looking at the end with White Vision, I'm jumping all over the place, but who cares? How he looked, man, that was amazing. The the, the music is always great, but this is the episode where Elizabeth Olsen just acts her ass off she, just the emotion that comes out of this woman in this show is this is the reason why when people say comic book movies are nothing more than whatever 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 bullshit comic books in general have so many messages and so many themes and it's episodes and shows like this that say no this is what comic book movies are, are, are for this is why when Logan gets created and Patrick Stewart doesn't get nominated for a Oscar for supporting role and you're like, if his name wasn't Professor Xavier and this wasn't called Logan and you made the same movie, he'd have an Oscar nomination right now. If Elizabeth Olsen wasn't named Wanda Maximoff as the Scarlet Witch and it was another show with the same plot and, and, and she's not nominated and she, she, she's not nominated for an Emmy, uh, you know what I'm saying. If it wasn't for the name, she'd be nominated for an Emmy by now. Like, this would be a lock. But no, no, it's a comic book film. She she deserves some type of recognition for this. But let's, let's get into what we've actually seen and finally gotten some answers from. Going back and looking at her history of what happened 
in in the scene she, they described in Age of Ultron, and then moving on into how she actually got her powers unlocked, figuring out that why it's sitcoms, because she loved sitcoms as a kid in Sokovia, and they would watch all those different decades to to just kind of get past what was going on outside of their window. And then I, the whole time I'm sitting there like, where's the explosion? Where's the explosion? Where's the, oh. And then you see Stark Industries and just, oh, and it's connecting back to the commercial with the toaster. And Captain Han, they're saying, why is he yelling? We're standing right here. All oh, just, everything is clicking on all cylinders. And then again, moving on to Von Strucker's experiment, seeing how the Mind Stone reacted to Wanda to be able to give her her powers, leaving questions of, okay, w w one, when are the words mutants coming about? Is that coming about? Two, is Wanda actually just a witch? Is the Scarlet Witch in this a witch? And instead of growing into her powers, the Mind Stone just unlocked them very quickly and amplified them. Um, then going from Von Strucker's experiments over to uh, her, her, for her first time in her home at Avengers Compound and Vision coming in. But Paul Bettany is that dude, man. His ability, her, his ability to convey emotion as a quote unquote, at times emotionless synthesoid and to be able to, to work off of, of Olsen. The whole line of, 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 of loss or grief is just love persevering. Bruh, bruh, just, Tears upon tears. They, they didn't actually come for me, but you felt it. It just was so damn beautiful. And, and going from there and seeing how I uh, finally was just 100% incorrect. Nobody else is that Wanda created this. Wanda created Vision. Wanda created the kids. Wanda did this all. Who? Yeah, I was wrong, I, and I really am so interested in how this is gonna happen with her moving forward. Um, and, and the fact that we find out even more that Hayward is just the dumbass of all dumbasses. She didn't break in and get her, her body, his, uh, Vision's body. She came into the front desk and asked. She drove. Why is she driving? The, just the little small details like, oh shit, she just drove there and... and and she like came up to the desk and asked and then going in and, and, and saying, I can't feel you going back to Infinity War with I just, oh, just the feels. Um, and then and the, he, the, he had bought a house for them to grow old in and it's just Wanda just taking loss after loss after loss and Elizabeth Olsen being able to just amplify that. Who, this, episode was so good and we didn't even get Monica or Darcy or Wu or any of them. So I am so excited to see what's going on in this last episode. Um, White Vision's about to, to whoop on Hayward. Hayward's gotta die. Maybe he doesn't have to die. Hayward, some man is an idiot. I don't know what else to say. Man is an idiot. Um, but looking into this last episode, just again, we knew when Agatha was coming in, we knew she was Harkness. We knew she that the, the Scarlet Witch was going to come about. And it's just, like I said, answering so many questions, but leaving so many questions. Are we going to figure out who eventually, who the, the person in witness protection was? Are we going to, is that Luke Skywalker cameo going to be her guy that comes in? Um, what is going to happen with White Vision versus, versus regular, well, uh, from creation vision from 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 Wanda what's gonna happen to her kids um, is is white vision came from the drone that she threw out that came from Wanda herself so that vision is actually also a manifestation of Wanda so is it going to be evil outright is it are they gonna have to fight it is is Monica gonna come in and help I, there are so many different ways this last episode can can it's going to unfortunately leave us with a cliffhanger where everybody's going to be pissed but still love it. it I just don't know how it's gonna happen my, my biggest thing is how else are you breaking Wanda's heart because we know that Wanda is going to be left devastated by the end of this probably whether her kids are gonna be gone 
uh, whether all forms of vision are going to be gone, whether she's going to see the new vision and, and have her heart broken because it doesn't recognize her. Um, there's just so many things in this episode and in this last, going into this last episode that I cannot wait to see and figure out Friday cannot come soon enough, but low key, I don't want it to come because that means the show is ending. Damn. Great episode. Best of the season. So many feels. Yeah. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the, in the comment section. Did you think it's the best episode of the season? Uh, do you still like the big surprise moments over episodes like this that are just so well put together? Both being amazing. What is going to happen next? Give me your 10 predictions and we'll see which one of them ends up being right. Um, I, I, this, it was just beautiful, man. It is just beautiful. And I can't wait to go from this to the buddy cop of a Falcon and Winter Soldier and just to keep going and going and going and going. And still, every time I hear the Marvel flipping comic theme song in the beginning, I get chills. Uh, with that, see y'all next week. Peace.